if you've read some of the DevOps literature, I'm sure you've come across the term value stream. So a value, what's a value stream? A value stream is an idea, a model of how value flows through your organization, through your development process. You know, you start at, at one end, metaphorically speaking, with, you know, an idea. Let's make a light bulb here. Um, and then you do all of the things that need doing, you know, you type something on your computer and then you, you talk some with another person and then you, I don't know, then you type some more, for instance, until finally, hopefully, something valuable comes out. So that's the model of a value stream. Um, value stream is characterized by the fact that it has actors that those actors have activities that they perform within the value stream. So that's, that's a model. That's a, that's a model that you can use to understand how value is created in your organization and how you could improve this value creation. Okay. Maybe you've also read another book, which is called Team Topologies. Um, you know, which is which is an excellent book, and I've I've read it with with great interest. And in fact, I suppose I should already read it again, just because it's so nice to read. Uh, and Team Topologies concerns itself with describing or helping you understand how different teams might exist within your organization and the different nature of those teams. You know, there are teams of different different kinds, and of course, their interactions over time. So the question is, now here, here you've got one description, here you've got one description um, in terms of the value stream, and uh, down here you've got another description, which is sort of not at all stream-based, it's sort of just arrangement-based, but, but they all claim to talk about the, in, uh, the arrangement of actors within your value stream. Oh, I'm sorry, within your organization. So who's right? If we've got such differing descriptions, then somebody must be wrong, right? And of course, that's not at all the case. Maybe you've heard that saying, all models are wrong, but some are useful. And I think this is the case here. They just have very different perspectives. Team Topologies tries to help you understand the relationship between different teams, different you know groups of people within your organization, and that, of course, uh, has a relation to your, to your product architecture. Because remember Conway's law. You can't consider your product architecture and your team structure separately. They are always connected. And team topologies and, and, and its ideas try to make those connections visible, understandable, and, and, and open to, to debate. So that's fine. But the conversation about value is kind of incidental to all of that. Whereas value streams do it the other way around. They say, okay, we are focusing on how value flows through our system, whatever the system may be. In fact, you know, technical things, automation, what have you, might be part of a value stream. So it's, it's very much not on the team level. It's really this mental model of how do I go from an idea to a value? And so there is no contradiction in the end. Both are useful tools depending on your perspective. And in fact, team topologies, you know, as the name implies, considers your organization at the team level. The same is not true for value streams. You can make value streams at any level. You can have value streams within a single team, if that makes sense. You can have value streams that are as big as your organization and far less granular than the team level. And both of them are fine. There's this sort of rule of thumb about value streams saying that you should have maybe, let's call it 20, uh, 20 participants in your value stream. So you, you kind of tune the scope of your value stream or the, the, the flight level of your value stream until you've got roughly that number of, of participants. So in the end, you know, 
all models are wrong, but some are useful. Here are two very useful models. And in some sense, they are both wrong. They are both idealizations of what actually happens in reality. Uh, they, they are simplifications. Yes, yes. But one will help you to really understand how different teams within your organization coordinate uh, and collaborate and what that means for your product. And the other will help you understand the flow of work through the system, including, you know, a bunch of teams to a certain, you know, to a certain end, to a certain goal. Thank you.